The international drone market's been developing at some pace now. And to some people, the perception is it's a relatively new industry, but Dragonfly has over two decades of experience. Paul, you're the COO. Can you explain a little bit of the history to me? Yeah, thank you. Dragonfly does have a very proud history in excess of 24 years operating in the commercial drone industry. And as you mentioned, it's, it's certainly not a young industry. It is a small industry with a lot of growth ahead of us, a very exciting time in the industry. Uh, Dragonfly was founded in Canada and Saskatoon in 1998, and we've got a, a proud track record of developing solutions for public safety as well as commercial clients uh, over the years, and very proud to have been part of a lot of firsts, whether it's the development of one of the first commercial multi-rotors or credited with the drone, the first drone to save a human life, which was actually on display currently in the Smithsonian in Washington. And the developments that the company's made since then, um, I understand that one of the drones that you produce has a, a major payload. Absolutely. The Dragonfly Heavy Lift is a drone that we released in Q3 of 2022, and it's an absolute workhorse, capable of carrying payloads in excess of 67 pounds, but versatile. It's a drone that you could use for emergency delivery of critical supplies, you could use for serving, for carrying an array of sensors. It's really a utility-focused drone that uh, can be deployed in any scenario for uh, any use case. So what do you think is going to be the, the, the future for the market? Let's talk about that just briefly. Where's it going? Yeah, we're seeing, and as we've seen here at the World Police Conference, uh, we're seeing adoption of artificial intelligence, adoption of machine vision. It's really all about software at this point. And so as the industry continues to evolve, the focus is going to be on the end user a little bit further downstream, being able to ensure that you know the conversation is not about the drone itself, but about what the drone can do for you, how the drone can automate workflows, can make work more efficient, can provide information that might not otherwise be safely accessed or available. So Paul, we're at the World Police Summit. What are you offering to, from a policing solutions perspective? What's Dragonfly delivering there? Well, we're again an end-to-end -end solutions provider and some of the more interesting trends that we see emerging from the summit is the focus on artificial intelligence and the revolution of work. You know, how do we enable some of the advances in computing to shift how some of these agencies protect and, and serve in the public sector? And Dragonfly is an end-to-end -end solutions provider. We incorporate software, sensors, drones into a multitude of scenarios. The primary applications that we see from a law enforcement's perspective is providing situational awareness as one of the first, uh, first eyes on the scene. So being able to enable a first responder to understand ahead of time what they're getting into, what equipment they might need, what risks might be present, um, being able to transport materials in potentially unsafe conditions, and at the end of the day, adding operational efficiency such that the right individuals can focus on the most important tasks because they've been able to automate other tasks through the use of unmanned area vehicles. Dragonfly also focuses on being an integrator, so being able to incorporate into existing systems and trying to minimize the barrier of entry for some of these agencies to adopt UAVs into their daily best practices by making them a ubiquitous part of their everyday life. So given your experience, what would your advice be to somebody that's just looking at the drone market potentially for the first time? I would tell someone that's looking at the market for the first time to let their imagination run wild. The very best uh, process that we can go through with someone that's looking at the industry for the first time is to identify their current workflows, identify what they want to accomplish, and help them create a solution tailored for those needs. There's no uh, limit to the amount of solutions available that can be combined in different ways, whether it's hardware, software, the drones themselves, to uh, support any use case. And that's one of the things that I understand your team excels at, is, is building specifically to meet a requirement. There isn't one box that fits all here. Exactly, and you know, as we've seen the industry really mature, the conversation's less and less about the drone itself and more about what, the can, what can the drone do for me. And so that's been the, the breadth of our experience, has been integrating systems, creating solutions, and being able to scale them into different operating environments by providing supporting services such as training, data analytics, et cetera. There's really no end to the end-to-end -end solutions that Dragonfly can provide. So the next steps would be, how do I contact Dragonfly? Yeah, reach out to our team, www.dragonfly.com, D-R-A-G-A-N-F-L-Y. We have a, an array of professionals with over two decades of experience in the industry that would be happy to look at various scenarios and use cases and create the perfect solution. Paul, thank you for taking time to explain a little bit more about the work that Dragonfly is delivering and uh, sharing your experience in the wider drone market. We appreciate you taking time to speak with 
the audience at security on screen. Thank you.